Hi guys, this is Christine with Revmoto. Today we're going to learn how to replace and install a 2019 Lexus RX350L rear bumper cover. So, you guys come a little bit closer. We're going to be replacing the painted upper bumper, um, the lower bumper, the chrome molding, and also the fender molding on the side. And we're gonna be replacing it with, of course, one of our very own. Let's go. Okay. We're gonna be using an Allen key, the number four on the Allen key, a panel trim remover, I believe it's called, and then um, the socket wrench with a 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna start on the sides. So, and we're gonna remove the chrome molding first. I'm sorry, that's not called the chrome molding. It's the, um, just the side molding. So, we get into the little one first. Obviously, I'm using this wrong. Let's see, hold on. There we go. So there's a 10 millimeter bolt here. Um, we're gonna use the socket wrench and the socket. broken off. That one's not there either. And then we just need our socket wrench for that last one. Then let's see. I'm going to remove this molding as well. Pretty much just gonna yank it off and it should come right off. So 
So there's actually a screw under here, um, so we can't just yank it out like I had been doing. We actually are going to have to remove this black piece. Luckily, it's just a piece that kind of just lays on top. So we don't have to take out the tail light or anything. It's this piece right here. So feel free to use this to pry the whole thing open. My hands are pretty small, so I'm just gonna go in and pull it off. There you go. And again, there's that screw. Back to our socket wrench. Same thing on the other side. So this car has sensors. So we'll actually have to unplug this right here. Okay. Give me a second. Wait, no, that makes it harder. Like this. Okay, so there, it's attached to the car. You can actually pull it off, detach from that. And then from there, you're gonna wanna press down on this, but it's pretty hard. So we're actually gonna use this tool again and press down on this button right here. Okay, so actually, you don't really need to use that tool. You just need to press down really hard on that thing and it and it pops up. I just didn't press down on it hard enough earlier. All right, done with the removal part. So, I'm gonna toss it aside. But we actually are going to, so depending on your car, if you're gonna reuse these things, we're gonna wanna take them off. Um, in this case, I think we are reusing most of it. The only thing that we're changing out is this chrome piece on this left side. Next, I think it's probably easiest for us to take the lower bumper and detach it from here so that we can get the chrome off it. So these white clips, you wanna make sure that you save those. We'll just use this to press it down. And then we're gonna remove the bottom portion so we can remove the chrome moldings. probably don't need this. Um, you can just clip it with your hands. You watch me say that and then that's not true. take off these sensors um, we're gonna take this top part off so really what you just kind of do is like 
where this white piece is, pull it, kind of bend it backwards and it pops off. It kind of attaches from the four corners. And then for this one, we're going to pull these two tabs apart so that you can slide this out like that. Okay, and then this is just double-sided tape. So we're gonna use 3M tape to tape it back onto the new bumper. Same thing over here. Pop that, and then we undo these tabs. Slide it out. And for the sensors, when we pulled them out, they didn't come out with these um, rubber covers. This is important because it'll make sure that your sensors stay in place and work properly. reuse these because it's not on the new bumper um, so we were gonna cut them but they can actually peel off these are wet because it rained earlier um, but you can if you can get all the way in there to the low to the lowest layer you can actually peel it off which is it much easier These just pop right off. And don't forget to take this decal up here. Okay, so we're going to unscrew the crumb molding and then just pop them out uh, with our fingers after.
take this off because it's broken and this is the one we're replacing. And we're also replacing this lower cover. And that's how you remove a 2019 Lexus RX 350L rear bumper cover and accessories. If you want Christine to do the install video, let us know in the comments below. If this video helped you out, please leave a like. Subscribe to see some more. Hit that push notification to get notified. And if you need any painted auto parts for your vehicle, bumpers, hood, side view mirrors, touch of paint as well, visit us at revmoto.com. Links are in the description below. Thank you.